Hi, my name's Alison. I also go by the name of Ali. I'm 25 years old and from Canberra. I'm Amanda Devlin, I'm 19 and I'm from Tasmania. Hi, I'm Lauren, I'm 25 and I'm from the Hunter Valley of New South Wales. Hi everyone, my name is Diana Gugita. My name is Jacqueline Gooking and I am 25 from New South Wales. My name is Teresa and I am from Sydney. Hey, my name is Raquel, I am 20 years old and I'm from Melbourne. Hi, I'm Talia Webster. I'm 19 and I'm from New South Wales. My name is Jodie Narayan and I'm representing New South Wales. My name is Samantha Mullins and I'm 24 years old and I'm from Sydney. I'm Tani, I'm 25 and I'm from the Central Coast in New South Wales. My name is Jennifer and I'm currently living in Sydney. Jeannie Kaliva, I'm 26 and from Victoria. I'm Laura Smalley from Tasmania. I'm Ananya Soni. I am 24 years old and I'm from Sydney, New South Wales. Hi, my name's Lyndall Keane. I'm 25 years old and I'm from New South Wales. This is Miss Earth Australia 2013, Rhaenyra Thompson. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Here we are. I must say, this is probably my favourite part of the pageant. I love the swimwear section. So, a bit about the swimwear, Rhaenyra. The swimwear is provided by Kongbu. Now, they're a Thai company, but they're all handmade. And the best thing about these bikinis is they're all reversible. So, it's more of a four-in-one bikini. So, it doesn't matter if you're wearing it this way or that way. So, they're really cute. They've got a little bit of a cheeky cut, so all the bums are flattering. <laughs> um, and these are actually all provided by a local manly business as well called Undercover Swimwear. So they manufacture it as well, um, but they also um, provide a lot of swimwear from around the world and underwear as well. Mm. <laughs> underwear and lingerie um, for the Australian market. Again, have fun today and have fun through the process. We've got action packed day and lots of photos today, uh, lots of swimwear. Super epic. Did you bring a swimsuit? Oh, I forgot. No, no, no. Just sudden. Hey guys, what's up? So, just forgot. Let's just sign and see if I can find another one. Yeah. Welcome to Budgie Smuggler Girls. This is the women's stock room. It's only fairly new, only in the last maybe two, three years, where we've actually started making women's stuff. Um, and what we did, we, we matched it to some of the most popular men's stuff out there that most of you saw. These bottoms um, are reversible. Right? So they're two in one for you. Um, again, off the most popular patterns inside with the men's stuff. Right? We've got a couple of one pieces here as well, two different styles. We've exactly. got a thick strap and a thin strap. This one's got a cool little story behind it. This whole pattern. This whole pattern was hand drawn oh, wow. um, by a young 16 year old Aboriginal artist. <laughs> Should have shaved my back for this. <laughs> What 
what we do is we're a, an environmentally responsible product that can be retrofitted into homes to help with ventilating, heating and cooling homes. We can't control the air outside the home, but whilst people are in their own home, we can purify the air. And it's, so it makes a big difference to asthma and allergy sufferers. How are you going with getting households on board with it? We directly market to people by door knocking and letting them know about what we do. How does the air come back into the home? Is it through the like, current structure or do you have to drill holes in the roof? We have a round outlet that pushes air down and then across the ceiling and down the walls so it doesn't create any drafts. And we're right local here on the northern beaches of Sydney with locations uh, in Queensland and, and Canberra as well. So it's growing nicely. Tell me about today. Today was good. Okay, I wasn't around for the yoga. No. Any injuries? No, surprisingly, oh. actually. Um, I thought it was really good, actually. So Fiona McGuinness came and did yoga. She, oh, cool. Yeah, she does uh, yoga around the Kuji area and yeah. runs a few classes that I've actually done before. So um, yeah, it's actually really good. And I thoroughly enjoyed her classes and I think the girls did too. You know, I guess the structure of this morning after we did the Kong Moon swimwear shoot and then the evening gown shoot where you know, we saw the beautiful saris and other things. Uh, yeah, just having a bit of fun with it and getting the boys into their budgie smugglers as well and making them endure the same freezing, blasting cold weather out on the balcony. Yeah, I, I'm really, really proud of the girls and how they did and how they interacted with each other as well. After last night's bonding experience, you can see that there are some lasting friendships that are definitely going to come out of this. And you know what, if that's what you get out of it, is a whole bunch of lifelong friends, then it, it is 100% a worthwhile exercise. And it's glad that like-minded girls can come together and discuss things that matter to them.